Alright, this is my 30 gallon long closed loop reef tank that I just finished. I have three returns for my closed loop and one return for the sump up at the top. I originally started this system as an enemy tank, but I think now I'm just going to do a full reef on it. Um, off to the left here, you can see my overflow. The top with the the top pole with the white PVC is actually my drain down into the sump, and the two bottom black ones are the intakes for the closed loop system or closed loop pump. There is no power heads in this tank, so there's no moving parts in which an enemy can get their foot caught in. Um, to talk about my rock a little bit. I took a miter saw and cut the bottoms of them flat. That way they would all stand up on their own without having any fear of them wobbling or tipping over. Now the rock on the right, I do have a plastic rod holding it up, but soon will be replaced with an acrylic rod. And once the coralline encrusts over everything, you won't be able to even see that. I did drill lots of holes in the rock to accommodate frag plugs. That way I don't have to worry about trying to find spots to put frags when I start putting them in this system. Right now this system, I just filled it up with fresh water to do leak tests. Uh, there is a lot of debris floating around. That's from where I cut the rock. But I, wanted, I left them in there that way when I turned all the pumps on I could see the kind of flow that I'm getting. Let's go down here to the sump area. Now the stand and the canopy I built all myself. Uh, the acrylic sump I did not build. Uh, it came from somewhere. Can't remember where. But anyways, I painted the inside of the can or the stand white. That way, when the salt creep started, uh, you wouldn't be able to notice it. Now the drain over here on the far left, that is the drain from the tank down into the sump. Gets all those debris in that filter sock. I'm going to fill the bottom up of the sump in here with some more rubble and macroalgae. But the water flows over the baffles and I have a MAG 7 pump that does my return for me. I still need to get a union coupling to put on there so I can take it out, take the pump out to replace it because it, it, it does have a little bit of a hum. Now for the closed loop part, the water is being fed in through this pipe right here. Uh, it's a three-quarter inch. I do have a coupling on it. Uh, it drains into the pump and then it's shot back out through the pump up into these valves and that's where I can control each one of the wands up in the main tank. Now, I did buy this uh, power strip where it has each individual toggles on or switches on each plug that way if I want to cut off one pump I can to work on it without having to cut the whole system off um, but that's pretty much it you can kind of see my canopy up there I still need to fill in the holes and then repaint over that but all in all for a little bit of effort I have a nice system I still need to put sand in the bottom but I won't do that until I actually get it in place where it's going to go. But let me show you the back. Now that's all the, the plumbing. Like I said, up top here is where it drains down into the sump. That's the main drain. And then the two right here, the two three-quarter inch ones, they drain and feed into the closed loop. Pump. It's a lot of holes. I think it, let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven holes in all. I did paint the, the back blue to make my corals and fish stand out better. Uh, black to me seems like it just draws in the color uh, or sucks away all the color in the corals and the fish. Um, I am lighting this tank with a dual T5 strip uh, with ATI bulbs. I have a purple plus and an actinic. But after I get 
the tank drained and moved into place, I will put sand in it and do another video.